Hello, welcome live, Emma and Katie and Carrie here from Healing Humanity. Today we're gonna be talking about hit it off. What are we talking? Toxic toxins and well, my video is on poison. We're gonna be talking about the normal toxins that you may be feeding your kids that you don't know about. How awful sunscreen is, how awful deodorant is, how awful toothpaste is. So let's get into it. Before we get into it, while people are jumping on here, Emma and Katie are leading this thing. Oh, for sure. So Katie's been doing some research, and it's kind of scary going down the rabbit hole of what is in our food supply. I shouldn't say our food supply because it's not in the foods we're eating. So we were going to talk about some of those things. Open for a QA and a if you guys have any questions for Emma. Emma's a carnivore. Katie's on keto. Uh, what'd you guys, Start off. Let's talk a little bit, Emma. You go first and then Katie. About? You uh, your background, oh. your diet. Just imagine oh, right now like there's, there, there's a whole bunch of people on here that have never heard your story. So don't tell a huge long story, but just give us your quick background and what you ate today and what your favorite meal is and where you'd like to visit someday and what you want for Christmas. Um, So a backstory on me is I was nearly vegan for five years because I didn't believe an animal had to die for me to eat and it took a huge toll on my body. But then I learned the true facts that millions of animals die an awful, horrible death from pesticide for from pesticide poisoning from fruit and vegetable crops. It's just so awful. How many pets, how many, okay, I can't talk. It's been a long day at the theater, but, um, so anyway, now I'm carnivore and I eat, I try to eat only animal products that I know came from a great loving humane p place. What'd you eat I'm today, Emma? Richard Wright about my bed. <laughs> you should tell the people about Richard. What did you eat today, Emma? Um, today for breakfast, I had eggs and bacon and ground beef, and then I had a burger patty with a fried egg and bacon. So basically the same thing for breakfast and lunch, just a little bit of a different form. Yeah. Why do you love the, um, while well, people are jumping on here and then we're going to jump over to Katie, why do you love <laughs> the burger patty with an egg on top of it and bacon? Where did you get that from? I don't know. I actually don't know. Think about it. I know because he said it. I know I paid for it. It was in another part of the world. Wait, what is it called? We, we were filming Wait. our buddy Bill Nye. Red Robin. Yum. Oh yes. Um <laughs> we got to see the amazing Bill Knott in Alaska. And then we went to Red Robin and we got that <laughs> burger with the fried egg and bacon. It was absolutely amazing. It was so delicious. So then ever since I just always made it. Just so simple. Throw it in the air fryer and it's all good. Except for the fact that you didn't make it today, but we'll let that one slip. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I think I want Emma to make the burgers every single time now. Right. Do not cook mine all the way. Katie, give us your background. What you want for Christmas? How's it going? What you're eating? I want a new car for Christmas. That's a, um, not much of a background. I switched to um, keto 43 days ago. 43? Do you have the counter on your phone? That's what I just did. I have it up. Because Emma doesn't know her day anymore. 43 oh. days? Okay, how's it going? Pretty good. Better sleep, more energy. Yeah. I don't really think I have a favorite meal yet. I'm not sure. Lost my appetite for burgers now after that one. I made some burgers today, and I made Katie's a little bit too rare for her and liking. Yeah. And Alyssa's. Well, next next time, Katie, you can make the burgers. Yeah, it's better than raw. Katie, how long are you going to do keto for? As much as I want to. I'm not sure. Probably for a while now, more. Eventually, you switch to ketovore, then hopefully carnivore. But I want to take it slow. Try to read the comments. Mm, ground bison. So, hey, you guys are in hey, charge everyone. of the you guys are both in charge of the comments, too. Do you know how to do that, Emma or Katie? Did you give us the ability to link or star? I think you can have the ability. You push the little star next to each one. There's, there is none. I don't have a star. All right. Well, I got the comments then. Oh, you suck. <laughs> oh, I see a question. We got some questions coming through. Hey, um, oh. I have five Homestead How memberships as gifts. So I think, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I think you can claim them. If you're interested in becoming a member, you click the little join button uh, below. And 
Katie's got her YouTube channel. Emma's got your YouTube channel. How about some updates, girls, on the YouTube channels? How are those going, and what, what can we expect to see next? I can take this one. Well, it's snowing in March now, so I can't push out any outdoor videos, and I wanted to do the book review on Change Your Diet, Change Your Mind, but I haven't gotten into that, and um, we have an excuse. We're taking the ACT next week, and we wanted to be prepared, so we're kind of been a little busy on that. So hopefully after that, we'll post some more videos. I have some planned. Emma, what about you? Yeah, same. <laughs> She summed it up. I was speaking for the last time you last time we did a live stream though, you committed to a video. Do you have any commitments for videos coming up? Like Tuesday, you're gonna have one or something like that, or no? No, not yet. I think I could definitely post at least once. Katie's been working really hard. She has a little presentation she put together. We're gonna check into. Uh everyone leave a comment if you want to see a video from Emma and what it should be. Here we go. We got some questions now. We got a new member to think of books. Thank you so much. Dennis gifted five Homestead Hall memberships. Thank you, Dennis. Every penny from those goes towards the documentary. Uh, here's a question. Lil Pooh Bear, uh, this is for you girls. What is the most difficult change to the carnivore way of eating or keto way of eating for Katie? Keto, Dennis. The most difficult. Well, obviously, oh. we're all addicted to sugar, so that's the hard part. We're going to eat eating a lot of sugar to none. There's all withdrawals, that's the word. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I would agree with that one. Emma, what do you think? Yeah, if you don't eat enough fat, you're going to crave the sugar. So that's the hugest challenge. Anyway. Yeah, so you got to get enough fat. Hey, Primal Mike. Girls, have you ever considered starting a carnivore club at your school or in your local town? That would be cool. That would yeah. be awesome to help inspire others. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that would be sorry. I'm reading all the comments on the right. I don't worry about the comments, Katie. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm going through them all. Oh, Just yeah. try. Try to be careful not to talk over each other. I know it's tricky sometimes. I'm. I do it myself all the time. You guys are both doing homeschool right now. Yeah. But so we had the big meetup here in Montello, and that was pretty awesome. It would be fun to have some sort of club or something going on, or a more regular meeting at the theater. A lot of people were saying that. Definitely, we got to do it at least once a year. But um, speaking of meetings, are you guys going to the JT meetup that we've got planned? Yeah. Oh, that's a question for us, obviously. I asked you so many times, what day is it? April 12th, right? I got to look it up again. Hold on. I asked I so many times. Because I, I saw it the other day. I got a new date every time. Yeah, I, I'm going to look it up real quick. You guys keep going. Here's the next question. Uh, Emma, what is the best part of being carnivore? The best part about being carnivore is that I feel my best and I'm so energetic. But right now I'm a little tired because it's just been a long day. But so bad example for now. I didn't get I went to bed super late. But um, yeah, so the best part is just being energetic and I just feel like a better person. I feel so amazing. Um, Definitely better than when you were vegan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. When and I was vegan, I would have trouble getting out of bed and I'd always be going to bed at like 530 p.m., maybe 6 p.m. So that was awful, but yeah, just so much better. So I really want to hope to inspire others to do carnivore. Here is a link for uh, the meetup. If anyone else is interested, I had some people asking before Emma was asking. Saturday, April 13th, Thienesville, oh, Wisconsin. It's near uh, Milwaukee, but um, it's a really cool area. We're having it at a park. Uh, we're charging $25 because we're actually renting the whole park. So a lot of the proceeds go towards the park rental. Anything left over goes a hundred percent towards healing humanity. The documentary, you, both you girls are going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Emma's going to be there. Katie's going to be there. JT's going to be there. JT's little, uh, son, William, who's JT's awesome. Little. <laughs> I did a live stream on Friday with JT and William was on it. He was the cutest little thing. That he kept going. Oh. Oh, he kept doing it over and over again. It was pretty awesome. So if anyone's interested in that, uh, I just posted a link uh, in the chat. And I'm going to just make sure now that I also have that. There will also be a link in the description of this video if anyone is interested in that. So... 
Question from Keister for Emma and Katie. Oh. My daughter starts veterinarian school in August. Have you thought about doing something like this in the future? I love that question. Katie, before Emma comes back, what are you thinking about doing in the future? I don't know. I was set a while ago. I was set on being a historian, but that's gone now. Then I wanted to go into some, probably some finance field, obviously finance, but that's a lot of schooling and a lot of money. So I don't know. I'm still not sure. Still deciding. I think you should uh, start your own business. And I think you should do something with something with research. Katie's the resident researcher, so she's been going down all these rabbit holes. So, for example, we have this. Katie just, I don't know what it is, Katie, but I'm proud of you. I think it's pretty awesome. Katie gets latched onto an idea, and then she does a bunch of research for it. And how did you get onto this glyphosate thing? I don't even remember. I think you said something. I was like, oh, well, you said, you said it a lot a while ago. And I was like, I don't know. What is this guy talking about? And then you said it recently. I was like, oh, well, I'll just research something. I just want to know what it is at least. And then I realized it's just crazy because I never realized that it's like everywhere. And it's like slowly poisoning everyone. And then I re and then he said Black Waters, the movie. Dark so then, Water. Yeah. And I remember I watched it. I was like, we should just watch it. And then we watched it a couple days ago. What did you think about it? It's crazy and it was kind of sad because like everybody got mad at the poor dude when he was just trying to help everyone. Oh and the poor dude died. Not him, not him, the other guy. So <laughs> Katie, why don't you uh the title of the video was Carnivore Dad and Daughters Are Foods Are Toxic? Why don't you take us through this quick? We're not gonna do a big long presentation, but yeah, just to share this with people. Lot. We can so, go over the overview of it. All right, let's do that. Oh, it's mine? Okay. It's you. You got to hit the right oh. arrow probably. It might be a little delayed. Oh, there we go. Am I supposed there to read go. it? Yeah, go for it. Glyphosate is a widely used herbicide that can kill certain weeds and grasses. Glyphosate works by blocking an enzyme essential for plant growth. So glyphosate is another name for Roundup, which is really popular. And when we filmed Dr. Barry, one of the things he, he said to me that really stood out was he was like, every time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You guys see this? You guys oh, see this? Oh. Look what I got here. Dr. Berry finger. We're going to do Dr. Berry cookies on the next episode of Homestead How. No, we're going to do Dr. Berry meat cookies. We had a patron of the theater come in who's a carnivore who's down 15 pounds. She's an amazing individual. She's inspiring other people. She said, I got a little gift for you, Carrie. And she pulled this out of her pocket. She said, maybe you could do a little uh, little meat cookies with the Dr. Berry finger. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Oh. Sorry to go completely off track, but when I've interviewed Dr. Barry, he said to me, Katie, he said, Katie, every time you eat a bowl of cereal, you're eating glyphosate. And there's like, there's rules and regulations. So I guess what people have come to the conclusion of, well, yeah, I'm eating glyphosate. Some people don't even realize it. I think most people don't even realize it. Ones that do realize it, they think, it's just a little bit. I'm willing to poison myself just a little bit. So when you eat a bowl of Cheerios, you are eating glyphosate. Yeah, it's not just the Cheerios. At the end of the presentation, I have um, there's a big list of products that people don't really know that has glyphosate in them. Right. And I kind of screwed up earlier, Katie. We were talking about that movie, Dark Waters. That was actually about forever chemicals, which is a whole other thing. Uh, yeah, you got no, glyphosate, no, forever like, chemicals, yeah, pesticides. Yeah, yeah. I also did a different presentation on Forever Chemicals. That's I keep getting them mixed up. Right. So glyphosate yeah. is Roundup. You want to know, maybe this is in your presentation. If you want to go to the next one, you're more than welcome. Uh, one of the things I've learned about this is, you know, like um, corn. We have corn all around us. We live in Wisconsin. There's farmers' fields full of corn, uh, Katie. they Do you know they genetically modify the corn so that it becomes glyphosate-resistant? Before, you'd spray glyphosate on the corn and it would kill the corn. Well, now it's resistant to that. So they'll have airplanes come through these fields and you've seen them. I've seen them. I've heard them fly mm -hmm. over our house. They're just spraying glyphosate everywhere and it's just destroying and killing everything in its path, except for the Franken corn that's been genetically modified to not die from that. Um, and they're like, this is great. This is a great idea. Well, now there's all of these problems with it because the glyphosate destroys the soil and um, it breeds super weeds and there's all sorts of other problems. So um, I'll be quiet now and let you continue. 
Yeah, and then it goes into the waters that we're drinking. It's in the air that we're breathing, so that's great. Okay, this, I'll skip this one. Um, yeah, most of the information I got was from the National Library of Medicine, so that... And then it states that 600,000 to 750,000 tons of glyphosate are used each year. And it's estimated that it will increase reaching between 700, 740,000 and 920,000 tons by 2025. So wow. in a year, it will increase by that. It's crazy. Oh gosh. Dad, you have your Costco card so you can demonstrate? Oh, that's a whole other topic. But yes, I oh, do have it. I was... Franken corn and Franken soybeans. I think oh, well, this, um, the National Institute of Health or whatever, it um gave this graph. So they did an experiment on mice, and then they gave it 250 or 500 milligrams daily, and then they did it for six weeks and 12 weeks just to see the effects that the glyphosate had on the brain, and then locomotion, which is the ability to um move to one place to another. They didn't really specify if they lacked it or if it was um, normal, but then they also, the mice experienced anxiety and depressive behavior mm. and then that. And then this was, this one was the same thing, um, 250 and 500 and also six weeks and 12 weeks. But then this one was to um, evaluate the effects it had on the learning and memory functions. So then they noticed that they had impaired recognition and retention memory, and then also um, impairment to the working memory. Mm. Let's skip those. Let's Significant behavioral changes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to re reduces mo reduces mobility. There's also a noticeable rise in the animals' anxiety levels and depressive-like behaviors. Here's a great comment from Lisa C. This is a huge point with glyphosate. It absolutely destroys the soil. It destroys the soil. In mice, it's causing anxiety, depression. In humans, it's known to break the blood-brain barrier, cause depression, mental disorders, just like in mice, including autism, cancer, all sorts of things like that. It supposedly breaks the blood or the – it causes leaky gut. And there's been this huge outbreak. There's all these books coming out in the last decade or two decades or so that they've been using glyphosate more and more. All these people are getting leaky gut now. But um, – the soil is so dead that if the NPK does get sprayed, it will be a desert in one year. Very scary. Yeah, absolutely. It the, the crazy thing with this is, Katie, if you talk to these people, they'll they'll all just be like, it's just a small amount. It's fine. It's just fine. Just trust us, it's fine. Meanwhile, it's destroying the soil and it's causing all of these issues. But they'll they'll tell you it's just fine. Don't worry about it. Look over here. Everything's just fine. Yeah, and then this slide um, demonstrates like what all of the problems it's been causing. Numerous human illnesses, including mental disorders, autism, cancer, attention deficient, hyperactivity disorder, kidney damage, and others. It's been linked to, um, I can't say that word, but it's been Morgan. linked to other illnesses like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease, like that memory that they were seeing in the mm. chart. So all of these problems, but just a little is okay. It was just called all of these, but it's worth the Cheerios. That's the question. Some people will say, I'm willing to have a little bit of glyphosate. I'm willing to have a little bit of poison. I've decided no more poison, no more glyphosate for me ever. But it's still hard. Someone said in here, too, there isn't even a thing of organic anymore because um, this stuff is sprayed everywhere. Like you said, Katie, it gets into the soil. It gets into the water. It gets oversprayed onto other fields. It gets it's it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. You've been quiet. You have any thoughts? Crazy. Was that your last slide? No, I think there's there's a whole bunch. I'll skip through it. Oh, this is just something that I saw um, that I thought was interesting. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency classification for glyphosate is not likely to be, I can't say that, carcinogenic, causing cancer to humans based on ev evidence from animal and human experiments. So they say it's not likely. They didn't really give a sure answer, yes or no, but they said it's not likely to be. I right. Just, I was Trust us. It's just fine. Katie should go into environmental law and put these companies out of business. That would be a good job. Yeah. What's another movie you should watch, Katie? We watched Dark Waters. Another one, um, someone mentioned this the other day, is Aaron Brockovich. We'll have to watch that one. I think you'll like it. That's with Julia Roberts. 
Oh, yeah, I was talking to mom about that, and she couldn't figure out which movie. She thought that I was talking about that one. Um, then the next thing is just disclaimers. This is another thing that I um, saw interesting. Basically, they say don't touch it. Um, don't let it touch you or get on your skin or in your eyes or anything. Um, but basically, they say not to touch it or be on your skin, but then they're spraying it on all these plants that we're eating, that we're ingesting, but they don't want us to touch it. That are it's, killing millions they, of animals. Exactly, and it's killing millions of animals, but they want us to eat the food that it's spraying on. But it's just, normal. It doesn't make sense. Well, you know no, another thing? It kills other animals. Yeah. Since they use this uh, corn that I mentioned earlier that's glyphosate, glyphosate resistant, now they can just spray way more on it to make sure they get all of the weeds and everything around it. So it's the, the corn is even saturated more because they're like, oh, just we'll just wipe out everything and the corn will just be fine. So what are you doing, Katie? I'm trying to turn the heater on. It's cold. Uh, I don't know how it works. Guys, I'm going to grab my hoodie real quick. <laughs> Super quick. It's always so cold in here. All right, Katie, what else you got? <laughs> <clears throat> okay oh and then this was the list that i was talking about um that contained glyphosate like down here there's um granola by quaker kind um and i know a lot of people think that kind's like healthy and it's like um a healthy alternative but it's not because it's containing all these bad things um instant oats whole wheat cereal cheerios cheerios my favorite cereal orange juice orange juice Ugh. crackers all these chips. Basically, if it's in a box, right? Yeah, sounds right. It's processed and it's in a box. Yeah, the, yeah. the Cheerios one, I, I I think I'm going to do, Katie, you got to do research for me on Cheerios. I actually don't even really need to because I know about it already. But I think I'm going to do a whole video on what's in Cheerios because it's insane. Yeah, and then it says Bayer, which is the mother company of Roundup, would stop selling it in 2023 but i saw somebody said that they saw it in the stores so they did not discontinue it yeah often what they'll do is they'll just change it slightly mm -hmm. that's what they did with the forever chemicals they got in big trouble for the forever chemicals now they change it slightly. yeah yeah then there's that look now at this look at this comment right here katie 97% wow. of urine samples yeah, tested I last I year. Something like that, but I think it was a higher number than that when I saw it. That's Gosh. crazy. 97. So besides almost every single human having glyphosate in them, um, they also have forever chemicals in them. Almost every human has forever chemicals in them that has glyphosate in them. You know another thing, girls? This is a good segue. Do you know another thing almost every human has in them? Hmm. Plastic? Plastics. Microplastics. <laughs> Katie and I were talking about this. Katie, you could do a whole report on plastics. Have you guys heard more about this? I started this? it. I got it. You did? Yeah, I started it. So everyone watching this right now, this is my Costco card. You see this? Every single week, the average adult consumes an entire Costco card worth of plastic. Isn't that insane? It's it. <laughs> Not me. I don't think I get as much, although I'm sure I, I'm sure I got plenty of plastic in me. But um, people that are eating processed foods and stuff that's packaged with these plastics, and I'm probably getting it from this. I got to stop this. I got to stop this. That's I'm doing it right now. This is my last one. I got the tumbler upstairs, stainless steel, water, or a glass jar. They were saying, um, Katie, I don't know if you started researching or how far you went on the microplastics, so but uh, a human uh, a human consumes over 45 pounds of plastic. It's in our bodies. It in Ten years, and then it was more in their lifetime. I can't. Yeah, remember. something insane exactly. like that. Yeah. And um, they're finding it now. They're doing. They did. Um, they did this big study, and people that are having people that are clogging their arteries. It used to always get blamed on meat. They're finding microplastics in the arteries little shards of microscopic pieces of plastic in the arteries and there's concerns about it leading to heart disease as another cause besides just i don't think it was ever meat i think it was inflammation and sugar that led to the cholesterol going there trying to repair it well now the cholesterol has to go there and try to repair these areas that are affected or damaged by these microplastics in your arteries it's insane just absolutely insane. All right. Sorry, Katie. I went off track there. You got another slide? I might. 
Well, that's just the conclusion. Um, Life of state is everywhere. Everywhere. You can't avoid it a hundred percent, but you can try to. I think that was it. Was it? Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Good job, Katie. So we got glyphosate everywhere. One of the best ways to avoid it is doing carnivore diet, in my opinion. It's returning to natural. That's what all of this is. Like, what is more unnatural than uh, consuming a weed killer as humans? When Not even consuming, too. All the stuff you put on your face, you put on your kid's face, the deodorant you use. Oh, there we go. The face you use every that. single day. Oh, my gosh. The sunscreen we put on our children's face. You read the back of it. You don't even know. I would always burn. I always wear sunscreen. I would always burn. Get the worst burns ever. And I never, I, w I would never tan. I was always pale. I kid you not. I did carnivore, wore no sunscreen. I tanned. I burned a little bit, but I tanned. Yeah, no sunscreen whatsoever. Seen. Sunscreen is so awful. There's some natural sunscreen. We just got some natural sunscreen, actually. I'm excited to use that out in the summer. But it's beef tallow, and I'm not sure what else was in it, but I'm excited it's for that. But oil. I don't remember, but it's just so insane what is in sunscreen. So, yeah. And face wash, too. Some face washes are just so awful. Deodorant. Wow. So what are you doing, Emma, to try to get around that stuff? Um, I'm finding products that are good. I've been doing a lot of research, and I want to find cheap, affordable ones that everyone can afford because I'm not going to lie. A lot of them are so expensive, but I don't wash my face, and I don't wear sunscreen because I'm carnivore, so I don't burn. <laughs> but um, I need to find a better deodorant. Right now, I've just been using the native native deodorant. It's a little Some clean, but I want to find bad. cleaner. And didn't you just get some beef tallow skin thing today? Yeah, it's this lotion. It's beef tallow. It made it was so soft and it wasn't liquid. I don't know how to explain it. And it had some coconut um, oil in it, and it just made my hands smell so soft and nice. And since the weather, my, my skin yeah, just it's been, been getting dry. so dry. But so that was amazing. That was beef tallow. So I want to be finding cheap, affordable products for everyone that I want to do videos. So the question then, eat meat, heal for life, said beef tallow makes a great skin lotion. Emma just talked about a skin lotion product someone sent her. Other people are saying they use tallow soap. What about just making it yourself, Emma? Yeah, I would have to look that up, but I just want to find the cheapest convenient options for everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the glyphosate thing Katie was talking about. Is just crazy. I don't know if people in the chat leave a comment. What do you guys think? Uh, what I want to do a video on Cheerios because it just drives me absolutely insane to think about how much they fooled me. And did they did Cheerios fool you too? I remember Emma when she was a little baby sitting on the high chair, and we had three high chairs for the triplets. And on the little high chair plastic thing, we put the Cheerios. Oh, that's good for them. They're that, that's great. Look at on the look on the box. It says heart healthy. They can mm -hmm. munch on that. It's not that much bad stuff. There, it's got whole grain oats. Look at the box. It's fortified with all these vitamins. Oh my goodness. It's so awful. Oh my gosh. I want to do a whole video on it. It is they have the heart healthy thing on the box. For those of you that don't know, they pay to put that on there. It's just not obviously it's not true. You look at the first three ingredients in Cheerios. And it is um, the oats, which is a starch and a carbohydrate. And Emma Katie, if you hear the word carbohydrate, that basically means sugar. Your body's going to convert it into sugar. And the second ingredient is starch, which is carbohydrates, sugar. And the third ingredient is sugar. So you're eating this healthy cereal that is sugar, sugar, sugar. And as Dr. Barry said, anytime you eat cereal, especially oats, you're eating glyphosate. Then on top of the glyphosate, they just did this big announcement like a month or two ago. There's another ingredient used in the pesticides it's found in cheerios called i think it's like chloroquamot something like that i'm probably saying it wrong it's known to cause fertility issues and they did a they did a study on it and i think like 75 percent of the people in the study were, that were tested had this pesticide in their body they've tested it on animals oh and the animals have fertility issues so you've got that then in the packaging of the Cheerios, you have Forever Chemicals because they're non-stick, the bag it's in, everything like that. You've got Forever Chemicals. So you're getting Forever Chemicals. You're getting pesticides that mess with your hormones. You're getting glyphosate, which breaks the blood-brain barrier, causes leaky gut, cancer, God knows what else. 
sugar, 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 which causes inflammation. If you have chronic inflammation for long enough, you get cancer. And then on the side of the box, the other thing that's crazy, you read the side of the box and it, it has all these vitamins listed. So you're going through, you see all this junky cereal, you see all these vitamins, you're like, ooh, that's good for you. It's got vitamins. It's false advertising. In order to process that food, because it's a processed food, it destroys any nutrients that were in the whole grain oats that are so healthy for you. It destroys it all to make it shelf stable. Well, then they fortify it, which means they put these artificial fake vitamins back in that don't even uptake in the body like they would if they were in their natural state. And then, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop ranting on this in a second, but the last thing is, then what do you do, Emma? Katie, you take your milk and you pour your milk on it. And you're probably not getting... Um, you're probably getting your milk from the store. You get your milk from the store. What do they do to the milk? They pasteurize it. So the milk had good vitamins and stuff like that in there. When you pasteurize it, it's basically like boiling out any nutrients or anything that was good in that milk. And then they fortify the milk too. They put these vitamins back in it that are nowhere near the same as they would be if it was in its natural state, but they got to make the milk last longer. They So they, they, it's, it's so crazy. They destroy the oat, get rid of all the vitamins. They destroy the milk, get rid of all the vitamins. They they add them back in after the fact, and then they tell you it's healthy. And then it's, you give it to your kids. And then you give it to your kids. Not only that, the reason I get so fired up on this is because I gave it to you guys, and everyone does. Most parents, and they mean well, they don't know any better. They give it to their babies. And now this thing that just came out a month or two ago causing fertility issues uh, because there's a pesticide in it. And some people will be like, oh, I do. it's the dose that matters. It's the dose that matters. Zero dose for me. I want. I don't want any glyphosate. I don't want any pesticides that mess with your fertility. Um, I don't want any forever chemicals. I want to get rid of the I, – I will just pass on the Cheerios. Like people have it in their head. This is what makes me so mad that the Cheerios are so healthy because it says heart healthy on it and it says vitamins on it that that counteracts all of these poisons and pesticides and forever chemicals you get from them. It's, it's absolute insanity. Cheerios cereal is literally dog food for humans. The fact that we think it's like a treat or it's something good for us is just ridiculous. It's shelf stable dog food. It's sawdust uh, cooked with this. If you ate sawdust, put it this way. If I ate sawdust straight up, I would probably get more vitamins and minerals out of the sawdust than I would out of this cooked Cheerios garbage. Sorry, I'll stop ranting now. I don't like Cheerios. I feel like that's the same with also Lucky Charms. They're probably the same. No, yeah, everything. All the mm -hmm. cereal. Yeah, Lucky Charms. All the cereal. Even worse. Even like worse. Before. There's nothing Oh, my about gosh. Lucky yeah. Charm. Waking up and eating a bowl of Lucky Charms. Pure sugar. Pure yeah. sugar. Yeah. And why would, why would we do that, too? Emma? I know why I did. Because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You know where that came from? The cereal companies, they paid millions of dollars back in their time to put that all over newspapers and magazines and put it on the news and everyone got it ingrained in their head. I used to do it all the time. Oh, I better, I'm going, I'm going to have a long day at work. I better eat something because breakfast is so important. And what would you end up eating? A bowl of Cheerios, which is pure sugar. Two hours later, you're hungry. Oh yeah, or pancakes, or literally straight up cake with sugar syrup. Yeah. Donuts. Or wow. donuts, donuts, deep fried birthday cake. They get you hooked early at a young age on the Cheerios. It's pure sugar. You're addicted to the Cheerios, and now you're a lifelong sugar consumer. It is a drug that's been normalized, and it just gets a complete pass. Not by me, though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shut up about it. It's insane that we're getting children hooked on an addictive drug that lights up the brain like cocaine, and then just acting like, oh, it's just fine. They're just sad. It's everything. It's literally everything. The food, your skincare, and it's just so normalized. Yeah. Andy said, can you understand all the ingredients in Cheerios? There might be some that are long chemical names that no one knows what they are. Yeah. There's exactly, another one yeah. in a lot of them. Um, it's like some industrial cleaner or something. It's, it's, what the heck is this? It's just it's it's like dog food too. dog food. What the heck is that? What is in your dog food? It's so sad. It's our pets too. Everything in our pets food too. It's everything. Yeah. Let me show you guys this real quick. What I, what I will say, Andy is, there's a lot of stuff in Cheerios that's not even listed in the ingredients. How do they even get away with that? Doesn't it have to list everything? For example, this is what I was talking about before. Cheerios and oats, it's not just Cheerios, might contain a toxic pesticide. Here's what might. you should know. 
Like, and it's called glyphosate or it says all oh, that one. Chlormaquat, a pesticide linked to infertility issues in animal studies in many food and urine samples. So they, they tested a whole bunch of uh, humans and they found it was in the blood of, I think it was like 75, 80% of people causes fertility issues, all sorts of other things down the line. This is a pesticide that's sprayed on the oats that ends up in Cheerios, but that's not listed as an ingredient. However, when you eat Cheerios, that is indeed an ingredient. You're also eating forever chemicals, which is another ingredient. So I wonder how that all works. Like at what point do we actually have the legit ingredients that are in Cheerios on there? Yeah. Maybe that's how they got away with making Roundup back, not discontinuing it, switching um, glyphosate for that. Right. Yeah. We have it's to explore so crazy. this. crazy. Oh, my gosh. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Just got sprayed with all the pesticides. Give it to your baby. Go eat some strawberries. Be healthy. It's just so sad because most people don't know. Or why, most, most vegans don't know that they're just killing millions of animals. I mean, I didn't know. It's so awful. And it's ev It's like everything. Like uh, people that say, like when I started doing carnivore, Emma, you thought I was a little crazy. Most people thought this guy's just going to eat meat. That's a little crazy. Now, knowing what I know, I'm like, no, all you other people that are eating glyphosate, pesticides, forever chemicals, sugar, highly inflammatory, everyone's sick, everyone's got ailments. You guys are crazy. It's I'm so just sad. avoiding those. I'm not just eating meat. I'm doing this to return to natural and avoid all of those crazy things. But we have to do even better. Sandra had this really good point. I've been in love with that Malden sea salt. I just ordered a whole bunch of it. I think there's yes, microplastics in that. Like and the other thing that we're screwing up on. I got to stop this immediately. I got my water bottle. I'm going to stick to my water bottle. I got you now. your white one too. My stainless steel water bottle. Uh, just out of convenience, I do it. But now I'm probably got a half a credit card of plastic in that one now. And the other thing is that we're really screwing up that someone else told me about. And I'm so thankful people are telling me this. Our air fryer. Uh, someone did a study and most modern air fryers, the enamel around the inside is full of forever chemicals. And there's oh, it's supposed no, to be... I bet. Yeah. It's supposed it's to be a high microwave oven. I think it's worse with this though, Emma, because we just gotta cook a fire and cook everything on the cast iron, guys. We can't have this, right? All the radiation, it's so scary. Yeah. We can't oh my have gosh, we, all the technology we we're looking nice. at every single day for so long. Oh, oh it's, 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 yeah. right now. think about the microwave too. We don't use the microwave that much anymore, but the microwave that's plastic around the inside. I'm sure there's forever chemicals in there, but when you oh cook it and get it hot, like you do with the air fryer. Food. You're heating up those forever chemicals and now they're going into the food. They do sell air fryers that have ceramic or stainless steel. Really? So now that is something we're going to have to look into. Like we're That's, going through the all of this trouble. The ninja's not like that either. Our ninja we have is not. No, it's um, got like an enamel coating and I'm sure there's forever chemicals all over it. So, hey, we got, I, I'm going to go back to the questions now because we got a lot of questions in chats here. Yeah, Three. I wish we could click them. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do a better job. You girls keep talking. I'll throw the questions to you. We have 300 people in here. Please oh my gosh. leave some thumbs up. And we're streaming this on Katie's channel and Emma's channel. Both of their channels are linked to in the description below if you want to follow their channels. Katie's going to be doing more outdoor stuff, which I'm looking forward to. Emma's doing more carnivore stuff. I have so many videos pl planned, guys. I am going to start posting more. We got carnivore farmer. Uh, Chlormaquat is sprayed. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. Chlormaquat is sprayed on grain crops to keep the plants from tipping over. Oh, I see. Yeah, if you determine it's under a certain percent percentage, they don't have to list them on the ingredient list. I believe that is, I know that is true. Thank you for that. But also, I think there's some pesticides and overspray and things like that that end up on some of these oats that we end up eating that you're never even going to know. They, maybe they spray over from another field or something like that unless you actually test the the, uh, the item. I think for mo the most part in Cheerios, they're just listing whatever their recipe is or what they put into the ingredients themselves, not accounting for what might have contaminated it. All right, I'm getting to the bottom of this here. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to just fast forward. If I missed it, you got to put QQQ and get back to me. All right, here's some more questions. Uh, Emma, someone asked you this while you stepped away a minute ago. My daughter's starting veterinarian school in August. Emma, Aww. have you thought about doing something like that? Always, always as a kid, I've always wanted to actually. I've just always wanted to help animals, but I have a thing with blood. It just, oh, I don't think I could, but I always wanted to. 
Oh, good for your daughter. Oh my gosh. I wish her the best. Hey, it's our friend. This is Ribeye Ranger, Emma. He is yeah, the I husband. Know. Do you know him? Yeah. He's the husband of Lynn Tucker Carnivore. Ladies, what is the biggest? This is a good question. What is the because it's about me? What is the biggest positive change in your dad since he went carnivore from each of your personal perspectives? Okay, so he's been so much energetic, so energetic, and I don't know, it, it honestly just happened like that. It seemed like it happened like that, but I remember he would always just be on the couch and never naps, energetic, so naps, naps all the time, yeah, and now he's just so energetic, and he's helping so many people too, so. <laughs> Katie, what do you have? Along with the more energetic, um, he yaps a lot. <laughs> he doesn't shut up now? He never shuts yeah. up? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like what you said, you're a lot more energetic. And like I said before, I remember I used to have a big box of um, medications that you used to take, and now you take none. And it's just crazy. Um, we can walk around the store now, and he doesn't get out of yeah, breath. Yeah, you don't have to go on the little scooter. Don't you miss the oh, little it scooter? Funny. I get... It was funny, though. Especially when it had the little horn. I mean, I had fun with it, but it was pathetic. It was funny, but sad. Yeah. Luckily, Emma has a lot of undercover footage she keeps sending me of riding around on the mobility I do keep scooter. finding it on my Snapchat memories. For those of you that are new here, there's 320 people. I was on a mobility oh scooter, oh not because of my weight, although I was 100 pounds heavier at my heaviest. I could still walk, but I had gout, inflammation, something in my foot so bad. It, it was incredibly painful to step down on my foot and just walking around hurt really bad. And now our friend Lynn Tucker Carnivore. Uh, hey, Emma, Katie, Lynn Tucker Carnivore, Ribeye Ranger, you guys have an open invite. If you want to do a live stream, we I, we sent an email and they were talking about doing it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Aww. If we do it, we just send you this link for StreamYard. It's super simple. Uh, so open invite if you want to jump on one of these in the future. Katie, this is another great question. So Katie's doing keto, not carnivore. Emma's doing carnivore. What food is it that is yeah, holding that is on question. to... That is that you are holding on to to hold you back it. from straight carnivore. Um, that's a hard one because I guess it's just kind of like in my brain. We're gonna we're gonna get our carnivore after yeah. reading all this. Come on now, yeah. everything it's terrifying. I don't know. Yeah, that is true. I do. Katie, no matter what answer you say, we're gonna be like that's got glyphosate in it. I understand. Exactly. Some people need to go slower. Yeah, I wanted to go slowly, so it's not that I don't want to go carnivore. It's that I just slowly want to. So. Because I did it before and it, I didn't do good on it. I, I didn't do enough fat. Yeah. I think it's a good approach. She, Katie jumped into it before and failed multiple times because I think you went too fast and you're 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 really close to carnivore now. So I think it's good, good baby steps. Yeah, you got it. But 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 yeah, Emma is right, Katie. Emma is right. You fat. gotta get more that's fat. That's the I problem. That if that's what food is technically holding me back, but carnivore food. I just can't stand fat. Yeah, Obviously. that's because you're on keto. Because your body's craving sugar, not fat. Yeah, well, still. More butter, Katie. More butter. And what about ground beef? You like ground beef? Oh, I love beef ground beef. Great I love ground amount beef. of fat. It's also the textures of foods. I cannot stand the texture of ground. It's beef. crispy. It's like chips with the salt on it. Yeah. Oh. You gotta, so you gotta just have a little bit here, a little bit there, and then trust me, you'll start craving it. Yeah, at your some body point. won't want it. Yeah. Katie, I wouldn't even think about how long you would do, be doing keto for. Just take it one day at a time. And depending on how you feel at oh. whatever day, you can either keep going, stop, or pause. Okay. Good advice. Uh, Altiora Jim, uh, BBB, beautiful girls. Oh, stop. Thank Susan, you. Susan, uh, question. Since leaving high school, did you get questions from carnivore perspective or what are your plans are? Any former classmates watching? Mm, I have I no clue. I don't know. I don't think anyone watches this. I know a lot of kids would always watch my dad's YouTube videos oh, yeah. and they would always no, want a picture someone, with him. I remember once someone tried to make fun of us and, and then they looked at the subscriber kind and they're of like, like oh, oh my gosh. Oh, never mind. They were trying to make fun of us. Yeah. Um, so, hmm? Emma, your best friend, you what did she go to your school when you quit or did, was she going to that other school? No, she's she's back at the same one now. She's back. She was gone and now she's back. But she she was your best friend. Emma's had the same best friend for a long time. And I'm she was with crazy. Emma through vegan, right? Yeah. Was, was she with you before vegan? I would have to count. What, how it was yeah. pretty close. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. She, since the third yeah. grade. So she was with you. Standard American diet, five years vegan, and now carnivore. Yeah. Yeah. So Emma's She's friends are worst, like. My best and my worst. They just know that Emma's got a weird diet, whether it's vegan or carnivore. It's not what they're used to. 
Question for Emma and Katie. Have any of your friends' parents seen the positive changes in your family and decided to try it? Um, We're not like that close. Well, I Our, said that one time. I mean, they didn't decide to try it, but didn't they once try to cookie who? the burger? Shannon and Lester? They cookie the burger and they were being nice and... So they were oh, no, they were, no, they, about it. Yeah, they're supportive. But they but, didn't try it. They yeah. didn't try carnivore. That's it. But, but I, I remember her dad was watching it and was like, oh my gosh, because he saw my dad. Because... He used to be overweight, yeah. and now he's just so energetic in front of the camera. He's like, oh, my gosh. So, yeah, so I, guess, but. I don't know about their friends, parents, but lots of people locally. In fact, where I got this from today, this was someone that was watching the YouTube channel and then started coming into the theater and gave me this Dr. Barry figure. And she's doing carnivore. She's down 15 pounds. Emma, you saw her. I said to her, she had the carnivore glow. She's looking amazing. So sweet. She's so beautiful. And her, hair's, her hair looks so thick and nice. Oh, my gosh. And she's inspiring. She was telling me, I got so-and-so on it. I told this other person about carnivore. They're doing it now, oh, and it's amazing. just spreading. So she's been in the theater many, many times. Ew. Question, Emma, have you had blood work done since going carnivore? <laughs> No, no, but I had it done of blood. when I was vegan, but not another sense. Yeah, she was. Oh like, my gosh, can we see the results? Yes, we got to do that, Emma. You got to get in. Tell mom to make you an appointment. Cause I got my oh. That would be amazing to see the vegan blood work. I was passed out from that. Emma, that's your next video. <laughs> that's like great for science. I want to know what was your vegan blood work versus your. I want to know. Work? Oh my gosh. You have it. It's all re recorded. So I had to get my blood drawn because literally I was just, it was so awful being vegan. Oh my gosh. That was so bad. Crispy merchandise. Emma and Katie, is there an animal food commonly considered as gross that you'd like to challenge yourself to try someday because of the great nutrients? Um, if you mean like brain or something or liver, I'd love to. I want to, I want to try and explore, but something that sounds gross is raw meat. But I, I, I want to try it, but oh, I, I would I need to do more today. research. <laughs> I did that today. It I wasn't know. raw, Katie. It was medium rare. It was raw. Katie wasn't happy with the burger I made her today. Emma, we have liver in the freezer, and it's so good for you. I've never prepared it myself. Let's just do it. There's another video. video. There's two we videos. Ate something. Didn't we eat bison liver or no? Or we had hard? liver mixed in with bison. We did have that, but it was Ooh. someone did it for us. We have a whole liver all by itself that we could cut up and cook all by ourselves. We also have um, a lot of uh, – a company just sent us to do a video on um anchovies which you you did that before I, katie you've never had anchovies have you oh that's right yeah they sound disgusting it's like mm, or sardines sardines? I meant sardines sardines not mm -hmm. anchovies i don't like any type of fish and i stand by that and I well they were good it was no, good i will never try sardines. they were good it was good we do need to get more of the trauma yeah we should try. well we have the meat grinder too so we that ground beef you just can't look at it when you eat it you just gotta uh -oh. We have liver and we have beef. We could make our own ground beef with the liver mixed in it, just like we got that one time. Katie, does doing all of this research make you want to become more carnivore than keto? Definitely, especially when um I was doing the standard American diet, learning all of this from my dad definitely made me more inspired to go keto. And yeah, like I said before, I'm working towards carnivore. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, she'll get there. She'll get there. And the problem with keto that makes me so mad because I did keto for years and years and I failed so many times is it's it's gone so mainstream. You go in every grocery store now and there's keto bread, keto ice cream, keto tortillas, which we have in the refrigerator right now. I yelled about that. Those keto tortillas are absolute garbage. And it, it keto for me, like keto is legit if it's one ingredient. So then I'm like, I guess you're basically carnivore again. If you have an egg, that's keto. If you have beef, that's keto. I guess there's some vegetables that are one ingredient that could be considered keto as well if they're low carb. But you, if if it's in a box and it says keto on it, and that's false advertising, in my opinion. And it's cruel because these people are trying so hard, and then they see this box and they're just eating processed garbage with glyphosate forever chemicals and seed oils and artificial sweeteners that cause inflammation in the body. It's you might as well just eat some garbage food. Yeah, and most of them aren't even keto at that point. Katie should go into environmental law and put these companies out of business. We're watching that's next family movie night, Katie, is Erin Brockovich. She it's a true story. I believe she was a lawyer of some sort, and the water was getting contaminated. A bunch of people were getting sick, and she fought for these people. It it came oh. out and like I, I can't believe it, but that movie is 23 years old now. It has, you know, Julia Roberts, right? Yeah. Ticket to Paradise. 
uh, it has a young Julia Roberts in it 23 years ago. We're watching that next time. I don't even really remember that much about it other than what I just said there. Lisa C., I drink out of glassware from the 50s and 60s. Oh, wow. There you go. Hey, it's our buddy, Brett. Who's your carnivore? I'm going to be on Brett's channel. Brett just hit one year like I did. Who's your carnivore is an amazing channel. He's creeping up on a thousand subscribers. So everyone go check out who's your carnivore. He asked, do you have a reverse osmosis water filtration system? That's what Dr. Barry uses. I need to get one. I don't. I need to get one. However, I've been dragging my feet a little bit because we. I, I got to get my water tested. It's no guarantees, but... We have well water where we are, and our well is incredibly deep, and it's in sand. And we had the water test when we first moved in, and it was so good. But I didn't test it for forever chemicals. A lot of people, most people get forever chemicals in their water, and tap water, whatever. Uh, Dr. Barry, he did a video. Dr. Barry did a video on limiting your exposure to forever chemicals. I'd highly recommend it. His biggest tip in that video was your water. And just like Brett said, getting a reverse osmosis system. So probably have to do that as well. Like look at how much water we drink. It's like one of the most important things. What girls, what if we have forever chemicals in our water? It's like, we're doing all of this and then we're still yeah. getting the, but didn't getting we the... Just get, I thought we just got, but we're trying our best from Amazon. That's not a reverse osmosis. Well, that not... was a filter, but I don't think it will. I don't think it's as oh, good. I thought we did. Carrie, what do you generally eat on lion and carnivore in a day? How many eggs, et cetera? So I did lion for 60 days and then I quit. And I recently did it for about 16 days. When I do lion, it's just beef, salt, and water. It's normally a ribeye or a New York strip steak. And it's normally ground beef patties and then just water and salt. And when I did it this last time, I cheated and I called it bee lion. I did butter because I wasn't getting enough fat. Uh, when I do carnivore, I usually eat twice a day. And I usually eat uh, eggs for breakfast, and I could eat a lot of eggs. I could eat eight eggs. So, but lately, I haven't been eating that much. Like this morning, I made eggs for everyone, for the whole family, and we, every, every one of us ate it. Katie, Alyssa, Emma, I think that's yeah, never enough. Time. I eat a lot of never eggs. Never enough. Yeah. So, I, I, to answer your question shortly, normally this is my breakfast, and I absolutely love it. I will have scrambled eggs, four, six, seven, eight eggs, who knows how many. I will have a little bit of bacon because uh, I got to chill on the bacon. I've oh, a little bit. Uh, a lot of bacon. And then ground beef. And I add butter to the ground beef at the end. That is my breakfast almost every day. I absolutely love it. And sometimes it's my dinner. And then normally later in the day, I will have either a large ribeye or a large New York strip steak with butter. And I like to cook it in tallow to get the fat up. It's all about the fat. Or I'll have uh, ground beef patties. Sometimes on carnivore, I'll have salmon or chicken, but that is pretty rare. And I don't like the chicken anymore because I notice it causes inflammation for me. My back starts acting up again. So that that's about it for me. I don't measure anything. I don't I don't go off any calculations. I eat till I'm comfortably full. If I get home from the movie theater tonight, I'm hungry. We'll we'll probably have some uh, eggs and some ground beef or some burger patties. Why in July of 2021, agrochemical giant bear announced that the company would stop selling their popular weed killer Roundup to residential consumers beginning in 2023 yeah, yep. and you know what they'll do they will just change it just slightly or they'll change the name of it or something like oh that that's what they did with the forever chemicals dupont katie that movie we watched dark yeah, water i did research on the other presentation that i have um of dupont and how terrible things that they did um what they did was insane if you guys haven't seen that movie dark waters this the they were literally having their employees smoke cigarettes laced with forever chemicals. Let's see what will happen. They had employees working on the forever chemical line where it was these women, and they were having these terrible birth defects, one after the other after the other. And this company knew about it decades ago. They did their own internal tests, and they knew damn well what they were doing, and they kept doing it. And then they started um, putting those chemicals into the air and into the surrounding waterways and all of these farmers and people around started getting cancer and all sorts of their teeth were falling out and turning black. Absolute insanity. And then you know what they did? My long story short, because I got to get back to these questions. Katie, do you know what they did at the very end of that? They got sued. They got slapped on the wrist and they changed the recipe, the chemicals, the, the chemical bond just ever so slightly. And now it's going to take years for us to do more tests and figure out, are these killing people? And then by the time we get to the bottom of it, sue it, slap them on the wrist again, they're going to come up with another one. And they're just, it's everywhere. It's in everything. These forever chemicals. They're, if there's plastic, there's forever chemicals. It's in the carpet. It's in your cookware. It's everywhere. 
Gone Mad gifted 10 Homestead Hall memberships. Thank Aww. you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to take advantage of these, you click the little uh, join button. It's best to do it on desktop. We do a members-only live stream every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Central. We do members-only videos. Maximilian said, wow, Katie, you really did a lot of great research there. Great stuff. Glyphosate, not so great. Yeah. Good job, Katie. That is awesome. You got to, that's your, that's your calling. You got to do more of that. I was telling Katie, like, you got to help me out with some uh, YouTube videos, a uh, little side project. We should do a video all about Cheerios. It's so scary to see what is in cereal. My kids always ate oats when they were young. I'm sure even oats are no good now. Everyone's saying, Carrie, please shut up and let the girls talk. Yes. Uh -huh. Sorry. I will. Girls talk some more. Let's go. Here, this one's for Emma. Mm -hmm. Emma, you read this one. I got to go back to the and find some more questions that came through in the okay, chat. Okay, Brett said, vegan diet kills way more animals, not even close. Raising chickens and cows for food actually creates life and restores the soil. Yeah, and raising good, humane, loving is the best. Because seriously, oh my gosh, yeah. it's so sad. It's so awful. I agree with vegans. There's so many awful places where it's just so sad and unhumane. So that's why I'm a capacitor carnivore. I have the shirt under here. So you don't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't agree yeah, no. with vegans. You said but you did. yeah, my bad. But uh, um, it is so sad and awful. There's so many awful farms. It's just so sad. So I try to only eat um animal mm -hmm. products where I know came from a great, loving, humane place. Mm -hmm. There's a question. I think What's I only that? tried sardines before yeah i think that's all we've had we I go with <laughs> all right keep keep going girls keep talking i'm gonna go i'm gonna catch up on these questions to talk about i bet you could oh. hit edit and let us be able to whoa not that there we go nisha dr barry's wife uses green pan ceramic cookware yeah we use um Katie, do you, what do we use? Talk about what we use. We use cast iron. Um, ceramics good. It's better. I don't. I don't think it what has even ceramic. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it. We have the I Mark Who. Yeah, the M I Mark Who. Um, I'm probably saying that wrong. Three set. Oh, I was gonna do a video on that, and then I was gonna give the link. It's a three set cast iron. It says it's nonstick, but then they say that they're PFAS, um, forever chemicals free. So. And it's also, like a it's like a hybrid cast iron. Yeah. Oh. Emma, read that one. Who's your carnivore? Carrie will be in the meat locker live on my channel Wednesday. March twenty seventh at eight PM. So you yes. guys gotta go all watch that. Hey, That's coming up soon. Notification, get notified. I'm gonna have to wear my jacket. I'm gonna be in the meat locker. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, Brett's got some fun things planned. Uh, like carnivores do, carnivores don't. Carnivores don't get sunburned, things like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, I got some more questions. Uh, let's see here. Where do we leave off? Eat meat, heal for life, $5 super sticker. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Every penny from those goes towards the documentary. Emma, there's one for you. I would make all my burgers Dr. Barry Finger Burgers. That was such a great gift. Aw. We got to try that. That'll be a fun video. Yeah, I'm excited. There's one for Emma. I don't remember, honestly, but they were good. As oh, long as you great. don't look at them. Yeah, it almost I tasted... I haven't had them for a long time. Never. Almost tasted like tuna. Uh, Nola, carnivore, Daryl, Carrie, if you think Roundup makes you mad, look up the history of fluoride. And it was out in city water for generations. I remember when I was a little girl going to – anyone catch that? No? I got to stop with that joke. I, that's that's my go-to joke. I remember when I was a little girl – no, when I, when I was in elementary school, they used to come around with little cups of fluoride, and you drink it. It's supposed to be good for your teeth or something. And oh, then it was I in the sure, water I'm forever. pretty sure. Or we'd and, swish it or something. You know – um. The forever chemicals, the F in the PFAs is some sort of fluoride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I have something. it up here? I think I got my little other one up here. 
Should we open it? Here we go. Here's Katie's other one. If you guys have any oh, questions, yeah, spray. Oh my gosh. Wait, we got 356 people on here right oh my now. Gosh. Leave a thumbs up. Go check out Katie's channel, Emma's channel. Here, Katie's been doing some really good research. Here's another one she's got for us. What is this one about, Katie? This is and I'm going to be quiet. You're, you're, you're doing it. I'm going to be quiet. This is the PFAS um, Forever Chemicals. I don't know how to pronounce it. Per and polyfluorinated substances. Oh, I pronounced it. Basically, it's for products that resist heat, oil, stains, grease, and water. Um, some of them include nonstick, water-resistant fabrics, grease-resistant, and various personal care products. Like, um, it's even in, like, the mascara, which I gotta stop, but the mascara that you wear, that this was a big one. Pam, the nonstick one, it contained all of that. Most cleaning supplies. Crazy. Mm-hmm. They were discovered by DuPont researcher. And DuPont. then what I thought was crazy was that they were first were used in the Manhattan Project to stabilize explosives. And then later on, they decided to use it to coat pans after using it on the atomic bomb, which is just crazy. And like we were talking about DuPont, uh, the, the alarming effects of the animal studies in the late 1970s and 80s, including deaths among monkeys exposed to PFAS and birth defects in children of workers. Um, they found the forever chemicals in the community tap water near the West Virginia factory. And that's what we learned in um, dark waters. Yeah, they pumped hundreds of thousands of pounds of the chemical in the West Virginia plant into the Ohio River and then dumped thousands of tons of the sludge into pits. And in the movie, we learned that they tried to put them in barrels and then throw it in the ocean, but then it failed. So then they decided to um, dig large pits and then they just threw it in the pits that leaked into the water. So, yeah, I gotta read this. Yeah, there's over 12,000 variations of the forever chemicals, and only few, only few studied for their health effects. 12,000. Yeah. My goodness. And then That's they so have sad. identified thousands of potential um, sites across the U.S. in military sites, landfills, and wastewater treatment plants. There's a landfill there. So awful. Mm hmm. Yeah, like I said, cosmetics and cookware. Hey, cosmetics. Cosmetics. No yeah, more makeup. makeup too. So awful. You read the oh. back. What the heck is that? Just putting that on your yeah, face. Putting it here. on your eyes. Oh my gosh. Shampoo, paint, pesticides. I can't see that. Fast food packaging, firefighting foams, photography, stain resistant products. I think I said nonstick already. It's crazy. Um, over here it says they are detectable in the majority of the U.S. population and can bind to blood proteins, delivering the chemicals to the organs and tissue, which may increase risk for liver impairment, cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. And I forgot the word for it, but it builds up into your blood. What's the word? You said it before, Dad. Blood. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, rude. Oh, it bioaccumulates. Bio yeah, that. So it accumulates up and it builds up into your blood. Um, which causes the cancer and the diseases. Yeah, another awful thing is perfume, too, like Bath and Body Works. What the heck are you spraying that's just going up your nose? It's so awful. And all the lotion, too, that people put on their skin. Oh, and that was Dark Waters. Should I talk about it? I don't know. Yeah, if people want to see this movie, I'd highly recommend it. It came out five years ago. Mm-hmm. It's a legal thriller film. The narrative drama dramatic ties. I don't know. How to Robert Billet, I think I said that right. Lawsuit against DuPont, the chemical manufacturing company, for releasing unapproved chemicals into a town. They determined legal counsel under unearthed a murky past linking to an increasing number of the unexplainable fatalities to one of the biggest companies in the world. He quickly realizes that by seeking to the reveal the truth, he is endangering not only his family but also his own life and future. It's hard to read this. So it's a this movie is a true story. And mm -hmm. this guy, Robert Billet, is an incredible individual going against DuPont. It was it's it's a great movie. I highly recommend it. I didn't know that. Mark Ruffalo stars in there. He's from Kenosha. I didn't know that. Is that your last one, Katie? Yeah, oh, I think so. Okay. I think I added something, but I'm still working on that. 
I'm trying to skim through this. Yeah, I think that's it. So basically, they're they're everywhere. Yeah. That's well. Good job, Katie. That's awesome. We got to do. We got. What else you got? You've been working on. You've got the Doctor E. Yeah, I have. Well, I haven't got to like even starting to read it, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I wanted to do. Oh gosh, the one on the Cheerios and like steal that idea, and then one on cancer too. Cancer and the ketogenic diet diets that one. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do products like deodorant, sunscreen, um. Makeup. Am I missing Sunscreen. makeup? Yeah. Emma, look in our look in our bathroom. The amount of makeup in there, and the amount of forever chemicals and toxins in there. We got to change on your that. eyelids. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know my eyelids right now. Twenty dollars. Thank you so much. I wrote on your 365 video that I decided to get sober on that same day. I remember that, and I responded. Uh, you responded, and it has increased my motivation. I've drank 20 beers a day for 10 years, and I'm finally doing it. Thank you for being a motivation. Oh, you got this. Oh, my God. You can do it. Do it. Do it. Please do it. Please. Email me. Message me if you have any questions or if I can help you at all. But one of the most amazing things I've learned on people going carnivore, they get rid of addictions. I've heard this over and over again from so many carnivores that had different addictions. Like my friend Todd Bachness, he was addicted to chewing tobacco. The addiction went away on carnivore. People that were addicted to gambling, people that were addicted to diet soda, people that were addicted to sugar, all sorts of addictions. It's crazy when you put the proper fuel in your body, those addictions go away. One other person I'll mention real quick is my buddy Dave Mack. Dave, everyone here knows Dave. He runs the YouTube channel. He's interviewing so many people. I always mess up his YouTube channel name because it's like, zero carb i think it is um uh, no carb life it's named no carb life but it's at zero carb uh dave mac at zero carb if you haven't checked out his videos yet i strongly recommend it he went carnivore and quit alcohol on the same day and i think he's where is he now i think he's almost two years into carnivore Hello. He's incredible. He completely quit drinking. He had a stroke prior to this. He interviews a lot of uh, carniv carnivores on his channel. And um, do it. You're going to change your life forever. Uh, and I'm, like, I don't know anything about quitting alcohol. Like, that's a huge undertaking. So my advice, if if I knew you or I could talk to you in person, is consider uh, all the help you can get too. I have some very close family and friends that have that were. Uh, alcoholics and that swear by AA and going to meetings and talking to people. Um, I used to think with carnivore too, why do you need a group? Why do you need community? Why do you need to talk to you? you? Just eat meat. It's so simple, but it's not so simple because we're living in a world of people that are constantly eating sugar. And so being around like-minded people that, that have been where you've been um, could be hugely valuable to you. So I, I would suggest that as well, but thank you so much for your super chat and your nice comment. I really yeah, appreciate you got it. this. You do it. Just do it. You got it. K-Day. Carrie, when did you notice a little than a lot of the weight loss? I'm on 25 days beef, butter, eggs, bacon a week, lost seven pounds, but weirdly gained two back. So it's a tricky question for me to answer because I lost weight on and off for the last 10 years on keto. Um, I'm down over 100 pounds since my heaviest, but I did lose some of that on keto before starting carnivore. For me, um, the first couple of weeks, everyone sees a drastic weight shift. Some of that's water weight, so it makes sense. Then some people will start to stabilize out. My advice for you, you weirdly gained two pounds back. You probably didn't. It's probably just water weight or maybe muscle plus water weight. Uh, if you're having any cheese, stop the cheese. If you feel like you stalled for a while, change things up. That is the best advice. Change things up. What does that mean? Uh, do lion diet for three days, just beef, salt, and water. Or do intermittent fasting maybe for a day. You're probably getting in this rhythm where you're doing the exact same thing every single day and the body gets into this homeostasis where it'll just it'll just hold on to that weight. And if you switch things up drastically, it'll probably change things for you. Uh, Carrie mentioned Lily makes great salmon burgers. What is the recipe? She doesn't make salmon burgers. She just cooks up salmon. It's just legitimately only salmon. Salmon burger. Yeah, I've never heard of that. But yeah, she makes the best that. salmon. Oh. Yeah. It is really, we joke around about it because I think our family's right never now. really, our family's never really cooked a lot of salmon before. Lily always ends up cooking it. I think she just adds butter to it. And we have salt and that's it. 
Question, have you ever tried hickory pellets? No, I have not. I should. I am, I've been stuck on the cherry pellets, and every now and then I'll do cherry and a little bit of mesquite. What do you recommend for, with hickory pellets? Is there a certain type of meat? I really love my ribeyes with the cherry. I don't know. And they come out like cherry red, too. I guess it'll come out red no matter what you smoke it with. But uh, Question, can you post the info on the person that made the Dr. Berry Finger mold or get more? I'll ask her, but I'm pretty sure she bought it. I was just looking on the side. This was from Ann Clark Cookie Cutter. So she didn't make this. She She must have picked it up somewhere. It's called Number One Fan Hand and Clark Cookie Cutter. So maybe if you Google it, maybe they're maybe they're on Amazon or something. Let's see what else we got here. Lud Truck for your research on PFOs and chemicals. Look up Grostic Farms. A family farm was destroyed by unknowingly spreading PFOs all over their land. I wonder if that was the one in the movie, right, Wait, Katie? Remember the one in the movie? Yeah. What happened that, to the guy in the movie? Hmm? What happened to the guy's farm in the movie that was he was adjacent to all of his cows dump. died? Um, and they became aggressive, I believe, right? I swear that one cow in there became he had really aggressive behavior. They their teeth got all black and um they died, unfortunately. And did then, something happen to the dog too? Did something happen to the dog? I'm not sure about the dog, but unfortunately, I thought it had stuff on it. The kids in the neighborhood had black teeth too. So, yeah, and unfortunately, the farmer himself, who started this whole thing, he's the one that found this attorney that then went down this rabbit hole and put all these lawsuits he started together. It all. He, the farmer himself, died of cancer. I believe his wife might have as well, and he he lost 120 cows or 109 cows, just insane. I didn't know this. Mark Ruffalo owns a bunch of businesses there in Wisconsin, auto sales and food stuff. That's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah, just another thing that's so bad, too, is I just washed my hands. Soap, too. The anti, what is it called? The anti-germ thing. Like, people never use that back then, too. It's so awful. Like, what are we putting on our hands, too? You didn't get sick. Yeah, I guess, I but still, it's so awful. Yeah. Life is so much better sober. Oh. Wow, 20 beers a day. That is a lot of money saved. All the more for steaks. Yeah, there you oh, go. Yeah. If you struggle at all during your carnivore too, just remember, fat, fat, fat. You get any cravings or anything. Bacon, 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 or fat. Oh, Tampa Jan. Katie just stepped away. I'll come back to this. I sent this to Katie. I, she did get this email. Tampa Jan sent me this email uh, about early human vegetarians. Oh, by the way, they went extinct. But oh. carnivor carnivorous humans branched off and have not. No salads in the cave drawings. Laugh out loud. Thank you for sending that. I did forward that to Katie. I quit alcohol as well, and now all that booze money goes towards beef. Ooh. I was definitely addicted to Diet Pepsi two and a half months free of the addiction. Oh, congratulations. Oh my God. I was addicted to Diet Coke and Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. Here's a question for Emma. Emma, what do you think about meat grown in a lab? Fake <laughs> lab-grown meat. I guess they were just doing this with chicken butter, serving it in restaurants. Oh, in my some gosh. States. Oh, my gosh. That's so sad. Wow. Oh. Oh. I said it in a video before. I really think like we watch all these zombie movies. That's how a zombie movie is going to start with all this glyphosate and pesticides. It's so lab unnatural. Grown how meat. do you even make that? I don't know. Why do you need to make that? Why do we need fake money? Right. If you want to be a vegetarian, be a vegetarian. Why do you got to make a bunch of fake meat up? It's crazy. Carrie, I'm eight days weed free and 99% sugar free, but April 15th will be one year carnivore. Oh my gosh. That's carnivore crazy. Nana, congratulations. Oh. Did it go by quick? On one hand, it seems like I've been doing this forever. On the other hand, it went by quick. Shout out Bill Nod in the chat. I remember leaving Bill just saying to him, this year's going to go by so quick. What, what is Bill on now? Bill, what are you on now? You, you got to be eight months yeah. into eight months, I think. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I get bad with dates. 
Hey, it's our friend Nurse Kim. Happy Saturday night. Hope you're doing well, Kim. Andy C said, I recommend a comedy series called Louder Milk. It's all about AA. There you go. Has anyone done the 30-day challenge with Steak and Butter Gang group? Thinking of doing an April interested in the priming info. Emma, no. Katie, no. Me, no. However, I have talked to so many people that absolutely love it and had amazing results with it. And I wouldn't be telling you that if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I have a very close friend that's been helping me with the oh, – I got the wrong shirt on. The Healing Humanity <laughs> documentary. He's a former documentary filmmaker. He has literally joined every single group. There's a lot of groups out there, and he swears by Bella's group. He said it's the best. They have coaching and Zoom calls and regular meetings and things like that. And I've heard several other people uh, say similar. So I would definitely suggest giving it a try. Just ate some Kerrygold cheese. Ambitious Antique. Katie, you are on a great road with your dad and sister Emma. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, sisters, how's Alyssa doing? I think she's been doing she good. Was, yeah. I thought she was on here. I saw her in the beginning. Alyssa's working right now. Otherwise, she'd be on here with us. Thank you, Alyssa. She's upstairs manning the counter. But she's been doing great. Mostly keto, keto, keto for. Yeah. She, mm -hmm. she said to me today, I didn't even, I don't know where this came up. I didn't say to her, do this, mm -hmm. do that. But she said, I think I should do carnivore. Uh -oh. I thought she was going to say, I think I should quit. I'm like, she was, it was like slow motion. I think I should do carnivore. I'm like, yes, there you go. <laughs> do that. That's my only worry with both Katie and Alyssa getting enough fat. Alyssa's been doing really good on keto, but there's low carb and then there's keto. If you're really doing keto, it's all about the fat. You can't call it keto if you're just doing low carb. You could do low carb and eat lettuce. You could eat low carb lettuce or Brussels sprouts and call that low carb. It's not keto unless you're getting the fat and you're getting your body into that deep ketosis. Hey, look, it's grandma. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, hey, Grandma Liz. Hey, Grandpa Bill. Hi. Oh, seven minutes ago. I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah. I got a message from my mom, and she said, call me. I will call you tomorrow, Mom. I We had two private parties in the theater today, which Jen did most of. I had I came for the second one to help, uh, but it's been a crazy day. And then I was back at the house working on my stuff. So um, w what a crazy day. We had two private parties at the movie theater, and the second one, the soda machine broke and the movie that they came to play, there was a big birthday party. They were the nicest people. They were playing, they were streaming a movie and the center channel audio wasn't coming through for some reason. And there's like 50 people sitting there like, let's go. What's going on? Well, luckily I finally figured it out. So hi, Carrie and girls from where's grandma at right now. We got it. We got to read the next comment. I'll get Drum to roll. it. Drum roll, please. You're taking a while to find it. Here we go. Sandra, Katie and Emma, if you don't wear makeup, that's a good way of prolonging your beautiful skin and keeping it young. Plus, being a carnivore will keep your skin smooth, young, and beautiful. She hasn't worn any. I totally agree with uh, you, Sandra. I know I'm your dad or whatever, but I'll tell you what. A hundred percent. I'm speaking for all men and all guys and young men or whatever. They don't find makeup attractive. Uh, they don't. They really don't. It's fake. I've I've never been, never been interested in that. I really. It's like a thing that women always do, and they're like, we do it for ourselves. But I'll tell you what. What plus when you get carnivore, you get that carnivore glow. That's all you need. I can't. It just takes so much time to do, especially washing it off is too much work. I like doing it. It's like art. Gone mad. My pick I sent you can can see how I stalled a lot. Yes, I'm gonna post that. Gone mad sent me their progress picture. Um, let me see. I'm gonna see if I can find that right now and show it. Carnivore cheer. Read that one, Emma or Katie. I'm gonna be right back. You guys, you guys are taking over. You're hosting oh, now. Great job on the live stream, Katie and Emma. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Yeah. Just a little tired. It's freezing yeah. in here. It's really cold. It's making me fall asleep. I'm never cold. It's the perfect temperature. It's really cold. I wish we could click comments. Everyone's so sweet. Hey, I got to show you guys this real quick. 
Um, let me see real quick. Lisa C. Is that how you say Lisa? Oh, Lisa was like, let's be real. Alyssa is eating sausage in secret right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to share my screen right now. This is from Gone Mad. Yeah, Alyssa is the third triplet. Mm -hmm. Did you never figure out where grandma was? You said mm. you were going to find it and then you never did. Oh, I got to find it. This is from Gone Mad. Huge shout out to Gone Mad. Killing it on carnivore. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can read this or not, but started uh, at 309 pounds. And oh currently, as God. of right now, at 236 pounds. Love the chalkboard. Love the message here. Love yourself with a big heart Aww. on it. You should be so proud of yourself. That is incredible. Yeah, you had a little bit of a stall, but change it up. See what happens. But, man. Think of all that weight. So what is that? Let me do the math here. 236, 240, that would be 60, 70, 75 pounds, if I did the math correctly-ish. Almost 80 pounds. Wow. Almost eight 10-pound bowling balls. Go lift up 80 pounds right now, and you are no longer carrying that around anymore. That's incredible. That was gone mad right there. Congratulations. That's awesome. Remember, I always say this. I love what you said on the chalkboard. Love yourself. Look in your mirror and be proud of yourself, what you did. I told that to Bill before, too. That's crazy. What Some of these people, it's so weird, Emma, Katie, because we hear these testimonials all the time. But you know how incredible it is for someone to lose 80 pounds? Or for Bill, Bill's down well over 200 pounds. We hear all these. We just think about it. I knew he could do it, that. though. I had full faith. That's more than I weigh. He lost more than me. It's, it's, he lost a whole carry plus another 50 pounds. It's crazy. It's just nuts. We start taking it for granted or it becomes normal, but that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. All right, let's see here. I've got a couple more. In dark waters, the dogs had skin issues. You could see bare patches. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what I thought. Poor boy. Aww. How do you do audio books? Uh, we've done some audio books when we do it on car trips. We've used Audible for that. One of my favorite audiobooks that we ever had was um, The Martian. That is a great audiobook. But um, here's a good one for you. Leslie and the Carnivore. Emma, this is all you, Katie, Emma. Yeah, it's so yeah. awful. I've been using the same one. Um, Crest? Yeah, Crest all the time. And then I just was looking at the back and, oh, my gosh, all in grids. It's so awful. So I'm going to be finding better stuff. I just have to brush my teeth. I, I have braces guess too, what and it's going to be when you find one. Hmm. Just guess. Deep tell. tell. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to find a good, affordable toothpaste. I'm going to be doing videos about good deodorant, good toothpaste, face wash, like skincare or lotion. That's all natural. Beef tallow, amazing. That's affordable for everyone. So stay tuned for that. Sunscreen. That, that'll be a good video, because I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I've seen a video like that. Deodorant, shampoo. Um, toothpaste that would be awesome. You know what they used to use back in the day for toothpaste? Hmm. Ash, firewood ash. Wow. Well, you could try that. That'd be a fun video too. Just could we could mouthful of it. Question for Emma. Take it away, Emma. Can you please explain how your skin is getting better? Yes. So it's been getting better, so much better compared to when I was vegan. I have these old pictures mm -hmm. and I get it on my Snapchat, on my Snapchat memories. I'm like, oh my gosh. Or I just broke out so completely. I still have breakouts, of course, like especially around the time of the month, I always struggle and I break out. Of course, during the meetup, I broke out. But um, but yeah, it's crazy how much clearer my skin's been getting. It's so amazing. Um, so yeah, the more fat I eat, the more it stays clear. Then I notice if I don't eat enough fat, I'll start craving sugar and my acne will start coming back. But yeah. It's all about the fat. Maximilian, Katie, you're doing, uh, you're doing as much research for a YouTube presentation as I did for my master's thesis. Oh my that is crazy. Wow. But yeah, dark waters is really disturbing yeah. and making you think. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Katie. Katie, you should, you, you, we, we should do more of these. This is kind of fun. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to do the one on cancer and um, ketogenic diet, how it affects cancer. Um, what was the other one? I can't remember. I'm just – oh, the Cheerios. That. And then now all these people gave me more ideas of the other different um, pesticides and chemicals. Wow. Yeah. Stink-ass cat, $5. Love the name. <laughs> uh, Carrie, I watched you since you started making carnivore videos. 
Uh, but I would like to know how you heard about carnivore and what made you go full in. Thank you, stink ass cat. I heard about carnivore through Dante <laughs> Ferrigno from Ferrigno Freedom. Oh, yeah, I could have answered this one. I will get to meet Dante Ferrigno when we are down at Hack Your Health in Austin. Wow. I can't wait to shake his hand and film him for our documentary, Healing Humanity, because he's a big part of it. Um, he's inspired so many people. Uh, I guess, long story short, years ago, I saw a documentary film about the ketogenic diet called Fathead on Netflix. That's what dipped my toes into keto so that when I saw Dante talking about it, I was like, well, that's just a ketogenic diet, but it's so extreme and so crazy. But the science, I understand because I know how a ketogenic diet works. But yeah, ultimately, it was initially Dante that fired me up. But I, I was still like, this is crazy. This guy's crazy. Um, and then I watched Dr. Barry videos. I watched so many Dr. Barry videos. And then I decided to start uh, full on carnivore. And within a couple days, I stopped snoring right away. Inflammation started going away in a couple days. Depression, anxiety, like all these things started happening so quickly. And yeah, I was I was off to the races for sure. David and Melinda Delgado, thank you so much. You guys are always great supporters of the channel. Ten dollars super chat. Hi everybody, Carrie. How much do you weigh now? We've been carnivores for one year, three months, and we're doing great. And lost over seventy five pounds. We love everything oh. you are doing. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you and God bless you. And thank you for all your support. You've left many great comments and super chats over the years. As of right now, at this very moment, I am hundred and sixty. Between 162 and 166 pounds. Uh, every other day, it fluctuates between those two. And it's been that way for months now. That is like my weight. Even when I did uh, an eight-day fast with my buddy Jeff DeProsperous, my weight went down to 158. Uh, but it was like a couple days later, I was back to 162 again. My body, that is like, my body's like, I'm good at 162. I still have... I'm pretty sure most of my fat is gone, but I have loose skin. Um, I should do a video on it because it's pretty gross. People are like, you don't look that fat. When I show you, I'd like to do push-ups, and I've been trying to do more of them. Uh, this morning, I was doing push-ups. And when you do push-ups, it's not a very flattering look when you look down at your belly. Uh. And with the loose skin, oh, my. It, it looks like, you know those um, – those uh, shows they have on TV where people lose a whole bunch of weight and they have to get the surgery. It looks like that. It is gross looking. Like I have a lot of, it doesn't look that bad when I'm standing up just regular. If I have my bathing suit on, I tuck it in or whatever. But yeah, doing those uh, push-ups, you can definitely see it. So I got a bunch of loose skin to probably weighs a little bit of weight there, but. Do you think you can get rid of that or? Uh, good question. I've heard from the good doctors. It's not gross. It's natural. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't care. I've had people say to me, before they've even started carnivore, they're worried about loose skin. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like you get all these other benefits. You lose all the fat. You get rid of depression, anxiety. You get to live longer. You don't have inflammation. Who cares about the skin? I look at the skin like a war wound or like a, like a, it's a trophy from like going through all this. I really You're don't like, care. Whoa, about I it really did that. Mm -hmm. As a carnivore too, I just don't care. I really don't care at all. I'll show it to you guys right now if you want to see it. But I, uh, <laughs> No, I, uh, I gotta pay to see that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor Barry. Some of these doctors have talked about it. When you intermittent fast, that will tighten that up naturally, but it takes a long time. It doesn't happen overnight. It could take years. Fasting can help tighten that skin up. Otherwise, you got to have like a surgery at some point, probably. But I'm never gonna have a surgery. I don't care about it at all. Maybe it'll tighten up over the years, or maybe it won't. But uh, I'm fine with it either way. Here's a question for you girls. Given some people are willing to follow the expert, what makes you think the zombie movie hasn't started? Yes. I wonder if the zombie movie has started or not. I really do. Oh, I hate trying knows. to, I don't want to scare people, but girls, what do you think about is, has the zombie not, movie Everyone's started? being poisoned. No. Are we not already zombies? We literally all just the deaths, stare the at, cancer, we the anxiety, just stare at our phones all day, and the brain fog, naps all day. And that's just crazy. Are we not in the zombies? And like, if you go test the blood of a human, Ugh. like it would have been like a zombie movie back in the day before all of this stuff was known. But you go test my blood right now, you're going to find forever chemicals in it. That's kind of crazy. You're going to find glyphosate in it. You're going to find the chlormaquat, whatever, the stuff that was in Cheerios in it, forever chemicals. Plastic. Plastics, microplastics, a credit card this much. I said this earlier for those that are jumping on. This much plastic each of you are consuming on a weekly basis on average. 
an entire credit card per week we're consuming and it's showing up in people's arteries literally we talk about clogging the arteries our arteries are getting clogged with plastics yeah i think we probably already started the zombie movie but i'm doing my best not to participate in it but you will love me Bill is 240. Look at Sandra. She's on the numbers. 240. Eight months and two weeks. I said eight months. I was right in there. Coming up on nine months. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, Bill. Nurse Kim said, I think I need to prime and quit trying to add veggies back. They only make me bloated. And even if I tolerate them, I love meat best and feel best on meat. Yes. Yeah. Shout out um, Steak and Butter Gang. I know they got a lot of really good coaching and, and plans and strategies around priming. My buddy Todd Bachness uh, had some really good success with that as well. Alyssa is the third triplet. Yes. Will you do press releases to the media when your movie premieres? You should. 100%. Yes. And I'm hoping to do premieres of the movie in little small town independently run theaters uh, before we do a wider release, hopefully, hopefully to the general audience. It's definitely going to premiere here and at my buddy's theater in Watertown. I'm hoping we'll do it there. He's mentioned that to me before. Sam said, Aloha, Carrie, do you try to limit your intake of bacon or cheese because they're easy to overdo? What do you think, Emma, Katie? Um, He really tries about the bacon, but he doesn't eat cheese. <laughs> but he, he's really he tries. trying hard on the bacon. But every single time I have some on my plate, I have to watch him like a dog. He's like a dog. <laughs> tries to snatch it. Yeah, I got to do better on the bacon. I, I overeat on the bacon. It's definitely an issue for me. Uh, was Ghostbusters a hit? Yeah, we had a big turnout yesterday and today. There's a lot of people up there. I want right to watch it. Maybe tomorrow I'll watch it. And we had a close friend of ours that uh, came into the theater. She watched it yesterday. She came in again today and said she really liked it and recommended it. I don't listen to the reviews anymore. They're always so far off. Oh my goodness, girls! We have so many comments here. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm going to go super. We're going to go I wish super you could fast. Let right? us use it. Just start Here clicking we go. And then we'll answer. I'm going to start clicking on them. Um, let me just make sure, get to the bottom, see if there's any more QQQs. Oh my gosh. There's a lot. Oh, someone said, What's wrong with bacon, Wendy? Um, Nothing's wrong with bacon. Only if you eat a pound every day, like my dad, then, then yeah. there's something a little wrong with it. But otherwise, bacon's good. It's the dosage that matters. You can yeah, overdo, don't feel, you can don't overdo anything. <laughs> Nothing's oh. wrong with ribeyes either. But if you have 25 ribeyes a day, then maybe you got to rethink things. Uh, Lynn Tucker Carnivore said, Katie, I don't like most of the fat either because most often it's too close to grizzle. Butter is way better. Yeah, I think the way I'm going to get fat is butter. I need to start making Grandma Liz's butter, butter bites. The butter bites. I really love those. I'll have to try it now. Maybe I'll like it better than I did before. Well, yeah, you, yeah, now that you I put it on the, the pan, get it a little crispy, and then freeze it. Ooh. Or a little brown. Paulette said, hello from North Carolina. Have oh, you wow. seen the moon North today? North Carolina. Oh, my gosh. We want to move to North Carolina. The moon? Have you, seen have you guys the seen the moon? moon? Yes, yeah, so it's like a full really? moon. Yeah. Yesterday, the moon was beautiful, too. I don't see it. I'll have to look later. Let me see. Isn't there an eclipse coming up? <gasps> April 9th. Yeah, okay. it's like April 12th. And apparently, aren't they really supposed to happen like every hundred years? So either God's coming or... Yeah, either Jesus is coming or... Maybe he'll come save us all. Uh-huh. I, I didn't hear about the eclipse coming up. I wonder yeah, what that's insane. That's insane. Yeah, there's an eclipse coming up. Oh, someone said we'll miss it. Hey, Carrie from North Georgia. Love your channel and what you're doing for so many people. Oh, Aww. thank you for the nice comment. Appreciate it. Oh, it's April 8th. No. Question, <laughs> which of the three will be the first to interview Bill Not? I mean, I guess I kind of was, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, Emma, Emma kind of did already a little bit. I can't wait to go see him. Is the new Ghostbusters movie any good? Yes, I've heard good things. We had a great turnout. I want to watch it. Oh, uh, there we go. That was Emma already asked that one. They're letting the kids out of school for the eclipse. That's cool. Really? Wow. Honestly, I I stare right into. Emma, read that one. You're a great oh, you dad, Carrie. You can tell by how amazing your girls are. Aww. Katie, read, read that one again. No. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can tell that your great daughters are so amazing. Are, yeah, they're amazing daughters. Brown butter is the start of ghee. Hmm. Uh, did you try ghee? Yeah, you did before. I didn't. This is, this is it. This is what Oh, Katie, I need to Katie make butter bites. Shout out Grandma Liz. She's in the chat. She made us her first batch of butter bites and we loved them. Katie, you will love them. You never had them, did you? Did I you tried try them? once, but I was normal. 
standard yeah. diet. Maybe I'll like it better now, hopefully. That's a good way to get your butter up too. Especially when fun. it was the hot summer, so good just come and eat it. And that could be a fun video too. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. We got all of the questions answered. Oh, Shout out, Katie. Yeah. Shout out, Emma. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. If I missed them, I'm really sorry. We kind of go tur turbocharge there. Here, you can um, share the butter bites. Oh, the recipe for the butter bites. Um, butter. I think we just use butter and then we Buttery put it on a pan and then you, you got it brown. You can brown it and then just, yeah, it does taste like caramel. And then you just put it in the freezer and it's so good. What, what are those things we use? The thing Grandma Liz used. Molds. It's a little plastic mold and you pour it in. You just pour it in and then you put it in the freezer. It's so simple. You pop it out. Like an ice cube tray. One of those bendy ones. So good. Yeah. Well, probably. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Oh, thank you guys so sweet. much. Yeah, if you want to learn more, watch Emma's upcoming video on makeup and deodorant. Her channel is linked in the description. And if you want to check out Katie's videos, outdoor videos, she's going to do some more uh, research. Check out Katie's channel, Outdoor Katie. Links for both are in the description below. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Have a good night. Bye. Wish you all the best. Bye.